What's up? They call me Bruce, and what am I eating? Well, if you watched last week, you saw me do food prep for lunch. But I made too much, and between that and Christmas leftovers, I'm eating free this week at work. So instead, I'm going to show you a little trick you can do with these grand size cinnamon rolls. Just need to pop this open. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 like the direction says and grease yourself up a little cake pan. Then you pull these bad boys out, unroll them. Then you take some bacon that you've already cooked Stick it on the inside Now these are thick cut slices because that's what they had in the store. A lot of people are buying bacon right now. So I almost had to do this with turkey bacon. Um, I didn't fry up enough slices of bacon because I only had so much room. Um, so one of them is just going to be normal. And then you roll everything back up. Go ahead and scrape that up and add it right back on the top. So you got your pre greased cake pan. Go ahead and I'm going to put the bacon ones in the corners. Now I'm baking one in the middle. And then you pop it in the oven. Okay, the package says cook it for 23 to 27 minutes. With the addition of the bacon, I went ahead and opted for the full 27. And now we're going to pull it out and see what it looks like. So there you have bacon cinnamon rolls. I don't have a cooling rack yet, so the rack and tray from my toaster oven will have to serve that purpose. Transfer these over real quick. Funny, the one with no bacon is the only one that's falling apart. Go ahead and 
spread the frosting on, which is pretty thin as far as frosting goes. Okay, I actually thought I'd have a lot more to go around, so let me grab some from one of these that have a little bit extra. Spread it, spread the love around. So there you have bacon wrapped cinnamon rolls and uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. You don't get the full saltiness from the bacon. Oh, that's that's hot. Let me get a napkin under there. Uh, be careful if you do like I just did and eat it straight out the oven because that frosting actually got pretty hot as it was dripping. Or it might have been bacon grease. Either way, it was hot. Yeah. Might be a little bit too much bacon because I'm not really tasting the cinnamon bun as much. But that could be because the only thing available at the store was a thick cut, so maybe if I got regular cut, I could get more cinnamon roll flavor and not as much of the bacon but if you prefer the bacon over the cinnamon flavor then you're gonna love using the thick cut bacon all right well they call me Bruce Today I'm eating bacon wrapped cinnamon rolls. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell icon for notifications. Check out the Facebook page and if you see something you want me to try, let me know in the comment section below. Till next time, good journey.